council manager form of government. The city council is the governing body elected by the citizens. The council hires a city manager to serve as the chief executive of the city government. The city manager advises the council on their decisions, but has no formal authority to vote on laws enacted by the council. Once laws or other decisions are made, the city manager is ultimately responsible for carrying out the council's wishes. As local legislators, council members are responsible for and responsive to the citizens who elected them. Depending on the city's charters and state laws, they may perform the following functions. Review and approve the annual budget. Plan for the future of the city. Establish long and short-term objectives and priorities. Oversee performance of city manager. Oversee effectiveness of programs. Establish tax rates. Enter into legal contracts. Borrow funds. Pass ordinances and resolutions. Modify the city's charter, regulate land use through zoning laws, regulate business activity through licensing and regulations, regulate public health and safety, communicate policies and programs to residents, respond to constituent needs and complaints, and lastly, represent the community to other levels of government. Hi, my name is Matthew Johnson. I have the privilege of interviewing the candidates for the November 2020 election. I'm here with Angelina Rodriguez. How are you? Very good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, so first off, uh, I just want to know if you were to be elected this fall, uh, what were what are the top three things that you were most concerned about going into 2021 and your uh, in the following term? Um, I, I would say I think I would say that um, infrastructure, strengthening infrastructure, is going to be key because you know without without foresight into the future, you cannot know when there's going to be a crisis such as this um, this illness that's come COVID, and we all reacted, right? So infrastructure is key, that it would be stable, that it would be strong, that it would be supported, so that you can have a strong base from, when, from within which to work when bumps and hiccups, things do happen. Um, so the strengthening of the in infrastructure would be very important. And budgeting is gonna be important to enforce that and make that foundation strong under the infrastructure so that things can be accomplished and things can be created and fixed um, in the community, that's gonna be important. And I think also direction and um, progressive direction and vision is gonna be important and direction that so that you can have, you know which direction to go in if you do need to make decisions, you need to bring in commerce, you need to support your foundation, you need to get things fixed and taken care of. These things are gonna be really key. Do you think that these issues are currently being addressed? I think they are. Um, and I think there's always more to be done. So how, how do you plan on helping the council if you were to get elected? How do you plan on bringing those three things to their attention and getting them on board with those things? There's gonna be a lot of outreach to other um, councils and groups to see what are established practices that have been successful, that are already being used, because you don't have to recreate something that's already existing. Um, and just speaking with people, meeting people, and creating relationships to find out what are the best practices um, to underlie all of these different issues and you know to strengthen the foundation of this city and move progressively forward. So there's gonna be a lot of conversation and just like relationship creating and you know, establishing a lot of connections with other people that know how to lead the city. The biggest thing you're talking about is you know, making these connections. Um, how would you want to work with other governments and other cities to help strengthen those connections and then bring them to the citizens of Galesburg? How would you use that information I think, it's, you know, I work in the library and having information is always a good thing. Um, gathering as much information as you can to make your decisions and help, you know, and lead and help others to also find better information. Having suggestions and information to give is so important. Resources, that's how, that's how you disseminate all your information, right? Um, so I would just be gathering information and seeing what best practices are because I am new to this as well. So this would be really beneficial for me um, to try to pro provide as many resources and as much information as I possibly can. And then we can all make better decisions. So you say you work in the library and you know, it's just a hub of information. Um, with that, 
the government has try to implement technology and better use that moving forward. Um, how do you how do you think that the council can better utilize technology, better use information technology specifically moving forward into 2021? Well, that's difficult to say because I would have to attend to the council and you know really dig deep to find out how what the level is that we're currently functioning at as far as technology use, right? Um, but I definitely am in a position where I have lots of access to ask these questions and a law library at my disposal and plenty of librarian friends that can help me that, you know, their function is to know about governing and um, be in touch with those groups. So that is definitely something I can look at in the future and try to find out. And I think it's a really good question because technology is ever changing and it's so important as far as reaching people and having people have the ability to reach you and communicate and having the, their needs met. You know, right now, a lot of kids are learning from home and not everyone has Wi-Fi. You know, these are really important issues right now. A lot of us are communicating and getting our needs met with, with technology. One of the things that the government has implemented is they're starting to stream their city council meetings, they're streaming planning and zoning meetings, um, obviously with these candidate interviews, or, or there seems to be a conceded effort to be more transparent. Yes. Obviously with this pandemic, there's been a lot of changes and just, there's many different things now. So how do you feel in terms of transparency? How do you feel that that has been achieved pre-COVID? And how do you feel that it can be pushed farther going into 2021 and then going even further? Well, I think it began when our mayor went to office and there were many changes and one of these changes being the streaming of meetings and, you know, to try to reach more people. Also have records of the meetings and what actually happened there in case you could not attend for whatever reason. Um, and I think that transparency will continue and I think that's the only, that is the best practice. That is the best thing that you can do because, you know, we have to work together and everything should be very transparent. There should be no, you know, secretism or any kind of, you know, things that are done you know, in the shadows, we should all be able to trust in our council and know that we can talk with them and communicate and that they'll communicate honestly with us and that everything's above board. And I think that's fantastic. I think it's going to continue. How do you feel that um, with the new city manager position, how do you feel that that relationship should be uh, nurtured with it being brand new, not only to the council itself, but to the citizens of Galesburg? How do you feel that it should be nurtured moving forward? Oh, that's a really good question, and I don't know the answer to that because, I, obviously, I think it's it's key, it's important. It is a new position to the city, um, and I'm sure there's ac accessibility to ask questions. I don't know what kind of support would be needed there. That'd be something I'd have to d dig into to nurture. You know, you would really have to know what kind of support is needed, or and what is lacking. And that's not something I have the answer to at this time, but I would definitely be interested in finding out. I think it's a good question. Um, well, you're obviously open to <laughs> learning. Oh, and yeah. Being, yeah. Uh, how would you be willing to hear the issues of the citizens? Would it be, would you have an open phone, open email, open door? How would you uh, ingest the issues that the citizens of Galesburg, the citizens of Galesburg have? Um, I think definitely an open email, and I would always try to have an open, I'm a very open person, um, so, and I always have been. So I don't mind meeting with people and talking about issues, and I never have. So I enjoy creating relationships. I've, I've been very good at it throughout my career and my personal life. I'm very good at making connections with people. So I think an open door possibly would be very easily attainable for me, and, um, you know, depending, I'd have to look into it. Um, but if, if anyone, this is a small town. <laughs> if people want to find me, they'll be able to find me. <laughs> and I will be open to that. And conversations, I enjoy conversations and learning about people and listening to their concerns. Um, so how do you keep up with the, not only local concerns, but with state and federal? And then how would you use that information to advance the city while you are on your term? Well, I think, again, definitely looking at best practices and things that are working for others. You know, it, it, I work at the library and we do that. We're always checking in with other libraries to see how they're advancing and what advancements they're making and um, what we can do to better serve people and provide more accessibility. 
And I think that's the same here. I think you take, you gather the best information you can from things that you see work. And then you talk to people and you get some buy-in, you know, and you work together to move progressively forward. And that would be the hope that I would um, get information and use that, those resources to advance. Um, lastly, did, uh, would you like to address the system of Galesburg directly with anything at all? Um, I, I guess I'd just like to say that, you know, I am a mom and I work at the library and I'm Hispanic and I am about social uh, justice and diversity and progressiveness and I would like to see um, more arts coming being brought to Galesburg and more artistic expression and more things for families to do and more commerce. These are all interests. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of wonderful things that I look forward to being able to attain in this position. Thank you so much, Angelina. Thank you.